Now, meanwhile, if you've been driving around Sacramento recently, you might have noticed some homeless encampments have been cleared. Yeah, most notably on the side of X Street. ABC 10's Devin Truby looks into the cost and what often leads to those cleanups. I think that there's a misconception that a cleanup is always associated with moving people. And often it is, but it isn't always. And sometimes it's actually at the request of the campers because they don't always have somewhere to put trash. Cleanups can be prompted by any public or private industry. According to Sacramento County, they are most commonly conducted to clear critical infrastructure or upcoming projects. Those are the reasons Sacramento County will initiate a cleanup. The county also stores items for people for 90 days. There are 48 hours to 72 hours notice given, and that looks not only like an actual posting of a paper that says when and where the cleanup is going to happen, but actual um, employees going out and making contact with the campers. For those experiencing homelessness, it's a constant struggle. And nobody's got anything back. Cleanups are different based on which agency conducts them. For the Reclamation District 1000 in July, it became a weekly cleanup, solely removing trash and debris so it doesn't get into the waterways. Last month, um, we've spent a little more than $80,000 just in staff time. It's the equivalent of one full-time employee's salary for the year. There are additional costs for disposing trash, which is around $80,000, plus the cost of security to make sure the levees are clear. You know, 300 to $350,000 a year. In contrast, five years ago, this expense was less than, you know, $20,000 a year and largely unbudgeted as an agency expense. Our homeless advocates take issue is when cleanups occur and no resources are provided. Like rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic, it does nothing to address the, the crisis of homelessness in our, in our state. Arguing the money spent on cleanups would be better used for resources. And keep in mind Caltrans has requested about $20 million over the next two years for cleanups alone. We are learning new details today about Miller Park in Sacramento, getting new housing for homeless people who live there. The city says there will be 15 large travel trailers placed on the site housing 50 people. The trailers were previously used at Cal Expo for quarantine housing during the height of the pandemic. Today we've learned the Sacramento Heart Program plans to be a part of the project. Previously, the program was visiting the park twice a week to provide mental health services for people living there. But for some homeless people being cleared from the park, sometimes without their belongings, they're questioning the programs. I will never go back there. Never. Because why should I go back? I finally got a couple of things. Expect that we'll resume the same activities that we were doing prior to the closure. Um, so we will be returning as appropriate to provide those same mental health and substance use linkages, um, assessments and referrals as appropriate. There's no timeline for when the trailers will arrive, but the county will continue to offer services at the site.